Today, ballpoint pens are extremely common. They are the most used writing implement in the world with millions of them manufactured every day. Today, we're gonna see what happens if we take the ink out of 1,000 of them. A thousand pens is a whole lot, but each pen only has a little bit of ink in it. Amazingly, that little bit of ink is enough to write for quite a while. But we want to do some tests with a lot of ink at once. So we've got 1,000 pens, and we are going to take the ink out of all of them. The plan here is pretty simple. We're going to drain the ink out of 1,000 ballpoint pens, collect it all in a cup, and then subject it to a number of tests. Heat, cold, and vacuum. I did a fair amount of experimenting to figure out what the best way to get the ink out was. I tried rollers, I tried just letting it drain out, I tried several different things and in the end what I found was that this metal rod that is almost the exact diameter as the inside of the pens does a pretty good job of pushing the ink out. Of course there is still a little bit left on the sides of the tube, it's not a perfect squeegee, but there you can see about the ink contents of one single pen. It's not more than a few drops, but when we take enough ink out of enough pens, I think we'll have quite a bit. Whew. That's it, last one. It's a lot of pens. According to Bic's website, each pen has enough ink to draw approximately two and a half kilometers. That means with all 1,000 of these pens, there should have been enough ink to draw a line from Los Angeles, California to Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh man, there's pens everywhere. Who did this? Look at that, that is a big old cup full of ballpoint pen ink and this other cup that has just a tiny bit. We started in this cup and I was like, oh, we might run out of space. And so I moved on to this cup, thinking we might need to move on even from that, but it did all fit in here. So we've just got tiny bits in here and a whole lot in here. And I'm just, I wanna just look at it. Like this is interesting stuff. So it's not thin. It's not like India ink or just ballpoint pen ink. This stuff is super thick, like corn syrup. This here is black ink, but it's not perfectly black either. There's just this, little bit of a metallic sheen to it. I don't really know what color it looks like. Sort of a ridiculously dark pinkish purple color, but it really does look like a black metal sort of thing. It is of course a little tricky to get something so dark to show up on camera well, but we'll try and get some good lighting on it so it's visible. It's really dark and it's really reflective, both hard to film. We've got this smaller cup of ink that we poured out and we wanna see what happens if we throw this in a vacuum chamber. You're probably curious, I know I'm curious. Let's see what it does. See bubbles forming. And now I'm seeing lots of bubbles forming. And now it's expanding very rapidly. Holy cow. <laughs> I let back in the tiniest amount of air and just all of those bubbles disappeared. I think that means that this ink bubbles really, really easily. All right, that looks awesome. Oh, and it broke. I'm not letting any pressure back in now, and it's, it's not bubbling up over the top anymore. It's bubbling a lot. Today's video is brought to you by Venom. Please give us money.
That looks so cool. Like a boiling black metal. I'm amazed that it's still bubbling. Like, is, is it degassing? It might actually just be evaporating some of the liquids that are down in the ink. There are actually quite a few chemicals in ballpoint ink, and interestingly, some of them take almost two weeks to evaporate out after you write on a piece of paper, so that ink doesn't actually dry completely for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna let the pressure back in. I don't think much is gonna happen. Yep, didn't really do anything. It has a strong chemical smell. Although it's going away quickly, so it might have just all gotten carried off. The inside of that cup is about as covered in ink as anything has ever been covered in ink. Well, that's what happens when you put it in a vacuum chamber. What do you think is gonna happen if we freeze it? Now I've got a bowl of liquid nitrogen, and we're gonna drip some ink into it and see what it does. I bet it freezes. All right, let's pour some ink into some liquid nitrogen. I'm gonna start by just dripping a little bit in out of our cup here, and this stuff is really thick, so it doesn't pour super easily. Ooh, and it gets even thicker on contact with the liquid nitrogen. Ooh, and then it just starts to shatter. It went in and started making these fun little strands, and then after it was in there for a few seconds, it started kind of exploding apart. Got ink dust. Some of the smaller bits are now melting. We saw that this made some really good bubbles when we were using it in the vacuum chamber. I'm curious to see what happens if we blow bubbles down into it. perfect metallic spheres. We've got some ink in a metal bowl and we're gonna put it on our little electric hot plate here and we're gonna see what happens to it. There are some vapors coming off of that ink. Although to be fair, I don't know 100% that's from the ink. It might be from the enamel on the bowl. May not be a cooking bowl. But it's white. I wanted to use it because it makes everything so nicely visible. Now that it's hot, it is a lot more liquid. Before it was more like the consistency of corn syrup and now it's like the consistency of cooking oil. I'm gonna try and avoid breathing those fumes as much as possible. I'm not 100% sure what they are, but I bet I don't want it in my lungs. I would call that a rolling boil at this point. Now the consistency is almost as thin as water. Well, after boiling off Whatever it is, it boils off. It's the same color, it's just hard and dry and gross. So uh, don't boil ink, nothing good happens. Vacuumed, bubbled, frozen, and boiled ballpoint pen ink. It looks really cool, it's got a cool color and consistency, and of course it's super potent, like it stains your skin. I am covered in ink marks, and I don't even know where those are from but I've had them all over my face and it's probably all over my clothing as well. I still have quite a bit of this stuff, a little over a cup of it that I haven't used up or burned or anything like that. So if you have any ideas of things you'd like to see me do with this ink, let me know down in the comments and if we use your idea, we just might send you 25 bucks.
Guys, that's not all. We've got more for you to see. That box at the top will take you directly to our last video. You should check that out. The other box will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. And if you are not yet a subscriber, hit this bomb to get in the club, and that way you'll never miss out on a video. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.